man, oh man. It actually, uh, it hurts that I have to do this because I love Supreme. I love the North Face more than I even love Supreme. So I hate to do this, but this drop is just actually trash. Put your personal bias aside, right? Like, I get it's North Face, it's Supreme. You guys might like Supreme, you guys might like North Face, right? I get that. However, if this was some random brand, if this was Diamond Supply Co., right? And it was this exact same pattern, this exact same snakeskin pattern, would you like it? I would guess no. What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to go over the Supreme North Face collaboration that is dropping on June 7th on the official Supreme website. That is the only place that this collaboration will drop. And today we will go over some of the pieces and discuss my opinions and kind of get some of your guys' input as well. Of course, let me know what you guys think of this collaboration down in the comments below. If you guys like it, let me know why. If you guys dislike it, also let me know why. And if you guys do like the video, of course, help the channel out by smashing that like button down below. Smash that like button, baby! I'm challenging you guys! Right now, can we please get 500,000 likes on this video? I'm actually really curious to see what these pieces go for. I still think they'll have some resale. I don't think there will be duds kind of like the metallic collection was uh, that dropped earlier in the season. Although I'm not a fan of this collaboration, I will still try to buy a couple things, which I will explain why in a moment. And I'll probably only be able to get like one thing from the website due to sellout times, so that means I'm gonna have to hit up StockX. Speaking of StockX, StockX is sponsoring this video. I'm gonna leave a link to StockX in the description description below. It's going to be the top link. If you guys support the channel, if you guys want to see the channel grow and prosper, then please go check out that link. If you guys do not have an account, then make an account on StockX or just shop around, check out some things and uh, help your boy out. StockX is a great platform. It's a platform that I actually used long before they sponsored me. If you guys follow the channel, if you guys have been subscribed to the channel, you guys know that. Actually, the day they dropped Supreme, I was sitting there on live just getting deals. I was finding hella Supreme for retail, just buying it all. That's one of the reasons I have like six blimps. So yeah, make sure you check out StockX and the reason that I will be having to acquire some of these items is because, of course, you already know your boy needs an Instagram photo. I already have an Instagram photo planned. I've had the Instagram photo planned for like over a freaking month now. And if you hate really cool, awesome, amazing photos, then still follow me on Instagram to join in on the polls because I will be posting some polls at the time that this video posts, like literally right after I post this video, I'm gonna work on the polls to post on my story. I'm gonna do some copper drop polls, I'm gonna do some colorway polls, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. Turn on post notifications and story notifications so you can stay up to date. I'll do some other polls on Twitter, but that'll be more or less like what people are going for, so I'll do like a poll with four different decisions and kind of decide what people are most hyped about or what item people want most. So really, you should follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and uh, yeah, all the links will be below right underneath that StockX link. So yeah, now overall you guys know I don't like this collaboration, but let's get into it piece by piece and break down each and everything that they are dropping. First up we have the coach's jacket. Now the coach's jacket is a tape seam coach's jacket, so it will protect you from the winter weather. And I love tape seam coats or tape seam jackets in general because I am from Washington where it rains nine months out of the year. However, that being said, if I'm going to protect myself from the rain, I'm not really looking to use a coach's jacket. If I want a tape seam jacket, I usually would want like a jacket that has some more protection, right? Has a hood, maybe has an extended little, uh, you know, neck like protection hickey hider region so that way you can go all the way up to your chinny chin chin and protect your neck and protect everything else from the rain. A tape seam coach's jacket just seems somewhat kind of pointless, I guess. I do love that they're doing tape seam pants because that's not really that common and it's pretty rare that that happens. I do have the Palace Adidas tape seam pants. I actually got two pairs of those because I love those pants and they're just really, really nice, clean, all black pants. These, however, are not clean. They're not all black and they're just kind of... I don't know, they're, I, I don't mind the pants as much as the coach's jacket, if I'm being honest. I actually like really loud pants, so the pants don't really bother me. I just don't really like snakeskin patterns. Like I said earlier, if this was any other brand, if this was Diamond Supply Co. or 10 Deep or whatever, like, no one would want to cop this. Everyone would be like, oh, that's mall core. But because it's Supreme and the North Face, people are going to be wearing it like crazy and flexing it, and it's just like... Yeah, the branding's cool. I, I don't mind branding at all. Like, I love branding. If I like a piece, I like it to say Supreme. I like it to say North Face. That's not an issue to me. I've never seen a piece and been like, oh my god. That piece is cool, but it's got a big North Face logo on the back of it. It's like, I don't care. Like, that's their brand. That's how they advertise. Like, that's what they do. And if I like the brand, then I want to support that brand. I don't know why people are so against advertising the brands that they like, but... 
I don't know. Personally, I don't mind branding at all. I will say if it's done in a tacky manner, then I don't really care for it. But if it just says the brand, it doesn't really bother me. Now, that being said, I am not a fan of this piece. And I try to take a step back and remove my own internal bias and think, if this was a different brand, would I like it? And I have to do that a lot with the North Face because I love a lot of stuff that comes from the North Face. There are a lot of patterns that the North Face uses that I am more inclined to like because it has that North Face badge on it. And that's not just because it's a brand that I like, but being in Washington, everyone has a North Face in their collection. If you're watching this in a year from Washington, you know everyone has a North Face in their collection. And out here, the North Face is such a staple that when I see that logo, when I see that branding, I equate that to quality. And I know that that's going to be a piece that will protect me from the weather. So it's like, I just know that that's a good piece. Are there other brands that are better? Of course, but North Face is kind of a brand that is really popular. And even if you're poor, like I was when I was a kid, you can find it in the thrifts. And although they're usually taxing in the thrifts these days, back in the day, they weren't really taxing like that. And you could find the North Faces for pretty cheap in the thrifts as well. But I digress. I guess my point is, is that with this coach's jacket, it's not really that useful. So for me personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I think the tape seam pants are definitely one of the better pieces, but according to Drops by Jay, the price point for the pants seem a little bit steep compared to the coach's jacket. The coach's jacket is $258 and the pants are $188. Really, I kind of want both for the photo. I mean, I'll probably go for the coach's jacket and then have to buy the pants on resale. I think the coach's jacket will be worth more if resale is your goal. But they're not only dropping the coach's jacket and some pants, they're actually dropping a plethora of goods. They're dropping a bunch of items. They're dropping this crusher hat. This is a reversible crusher hat and supposedly it's packable so you can pack it in this little pouch. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like it. I'm not really against crusher hats and I guess if it's tape seam then you could wear that with the coach's jacket and then I guess you'd be completely protected from the outside elements or at least somewhat. It does not say whether it is tape seam or not on the website so I'm not quite sure but regardless, once again, I'm personally not a fan of this pattern or these pieces. One thing about these pieces is they green is highlighted with red and the black and white is highlighted with black so for example with these reversible crushers when you reverse the hat when you reverse the green one you get a red uh, Supreme Crusher hat and when you reverse the black and white one you just get a solid black Supreme Crusher hat. It does have the Supreme North Face branding on both sides so if you want to wear something a little bit quieter and then you can flip and dip it and make it a little bit louder however you want to do it. If you would like to secure the bag they are dropping some bags as well they're dropping a backpack and a duffel bag both of which I'm not really a fan of. I really wish they would do more luggage and I'm kind of glad they're not doing luggage with this one because they haven't done luggage since I believe the bandana print and they drop duffels all the time. They always drop duffels or base camp bags and I just kind of wish they would do some more roller luggage eventually, but I really don't want it to be with this collection because I don't really like this pattern. So I'm kind of glad they didn't do it with this collection, but Supreme, if you're watching, please drop some more roller luggage soon. The bandana roller luggage is way too expensive and there's no way I'm buying that. And in fact, I really would have rather seen something like that. I mean, I feel like bandana print is pretty popular this year, not just from Supreme, but we've seen 424 do a lot of bandana print. We've seen a lot of different companies use bandana prints like within the last season or two. And I know they already did bandana print. They did the red, black, and the blue. However, it would have been cool if maybe they did some like tonal stuff. Like for example, if you look at the back of this hoodie right here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's like a tonal, like white on cream bandana. And it's not like a normal paisley bandana. Like it's like a different kind of pattern. I feel like they could have done something like that or maybe, I don't know, man, just something different besides, I don't know, snakeskin, man. Like Really? I'm just not really much of a fan. However, that being said, the one piece that I'm debating actually buying and keeping forever is the tent. Now, like I said, I'm not a fan of this pattern and I don't really, I don't know, man. I don't really like it, to be honest. And I think for the outdoors, it might be kind of chill. I mean, at the end of the day, the tent's going to get fucked up anyways, but... I don't know, man. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to buy and keep the tent. The estimated retail is $328. That's definitely a little bit more expensive since the standard price for the Stormbreaker 3 tent is $200. To be honest, with all the stuff that they've been doing, I really wish they would have done a different tent, like a more expensive tent. Maybe a tent that is upwards of like $800 to $1,000. Maybe one with like a dome or something like that. And the only reason for that is because... I just feel like they do a lot of really expensive stuff that are for collectors and people who will actually keep the piece and use it. And I would have really liked to see something like that because that's something that I would have purchased at $800 to $1,000 and actually used. I mean, I already have a two-person tent. It's like a packable two-person tent, but I just feel like a three-person tent is so, like, I don't know. I, I would have just rather seen like a tent that is actually going to be a good quality tent. Maybe a tent that, you know, uh, intermediate to advanced hiker or advanced, like, 
or a camper or whatever outdoors person would use. This is kind of an entry level tent and it's nothing crazy. Now, I do like the floor. I like that the floor has Supreme printed across it. The black and white one, like I said, has the black accent, so it has the black floor and then the green one has the red floor. I think the black and white one would probably stay nicer with like outdoor conditions. However, obviously that red and green one's gonna pop a little bit more. So I don't know, man. I really am considering buying this tent and keeping it. As you guys know, I have a lot of hype beast hiking essentials. So, I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. We will see though. What do you guys think of this collection? What do you guys think of this drop? Drop a comment down below and let me know your guys' opinions. Like I said earlier, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is at the start left. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen and in the description below, right underneath that StockX link. So that top link is gonna be that StockX link. Then the second link is going to be my Instagram link, which I will get some fire photos in some of these pieces once they drop. And then of course, I will also be doing polls all week. There'll be copper drop polls, there'll be colorway polls, a bunch of polls for this collection. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and join in on the polls. I actually do polls all the time, by the way, not just for Supreme or not just for this, but I've been doing polls as to what I should buy, what I shouldn't buy. Technically, you guys voted that I shouldn't buy something that I did end up buying. So yeah, I mean, I don't always follow the poll, but sometimes you guys talk me out of making a pretty bad decision. So you guys have actually saved me from a couple bad decisions. So thank you. And then of course, like I said, follow me on Twitter as well. I will be doing a bunch of polls on there as well. However, those polls will be basically to see what item people are going for first. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. I hope you guys have an amazing day and peace the fuck out. Come